Hello everyone, welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Find out how you can meet Tabiana Ali and other Graceland cast members in late October. Trina, played by Tabiana Ali and Spencer, played by Nicholas Alexander Chavez, seal their love in New York City while on a romantic holiday. Now, the general hospital actress speaks exclusively to Soap Hub about how everything came together and what's ahead. Plus, find out how you can meet Ali and other Graceland cast members later this month. Like the fans, I have watched it about a dozen times. Ali says of the love scenes with Spencer and Trina in New York City. I was very happy with how everything turned out. It was stunning in my opinion. Alison Reams, who directed those passages, deserves commendation. I wasn't expecting it to be so romantic and beautiful. It was passionate, pure, and sophisticated. The show included a video montage of the couple's highlights, such as Spencer saving Trina when she fell from a ladder. Including those was a very nice touch, said Ali. It was amazing to see how far Spencer and Trina's relationship has progressed. It's been turbulent and up and down at times. They've finally been given their alone time, and they're happy, the actress adds now. I'm not going to say happy ending. It is not the end. But they were able to accomplish this as a group. While the show did not fly to New York City to film the sequences, it did pay for a stunning rooftop restaurant set with a realistic-looking NYC cityscape backdrop. The lighting, music, and settings all worked together to give viewers the impression that Trina and Spencer were genuinely in New York. How important did Ali think it was for Spencer and Trina to share this moment in a city other than Port Charles? That was really important, she says. I'm so glad that they decided to do that instead of having it be in Port Charles, where there might have been an interruption. What about Ace's daycare's near chicken pox sphere? When I first saw that in the script, I thought, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. This will never happen, says Ali. But it was nice to see that they were able to go to New York. Numerous social media posts have expressed how crucial hashtag Sprainer is in terms of representation, and many social media users are praising GH for nailing this moment. I do understand. Ali offers as an example. I see what you're saying. It is critical to be represented. People want to be included. They want to know they are not alone in their condition. Seeing it on a show like this makes people feel included. Ali points out that, in the broad scheme of things, interracial couples were not typically depicted on television, as we've seen with Trainer and Spencer. To go from, where we once were, to now is such a big, mind-blowing thing, she continues. Ali hopes that Spriner's romance may change some people's hearts and minds. Some people still don't want interracial relationships, admits the actress. It's lovely to see Spriner together. It's something that can be agreed upon. Spriner piqued the interest of the talk's Cheryl Underwood, a soap drama fan. She supported the couple and hopes Trina and Spencer succeed. Many shows, like GH, have intimacy coordinators on set to help actors feel at ease during love sequences. We did have one, Ali admits, naming Liz Lamura, who has been featured on Soap Hub. Before shooting the scenes, I spoke with Frank Valentini, executive producer, Allison, and Liz all at the same time. Liz was a great help to me. I'm sure she also helped and guided Nick. It was quite beneficial to have her present. I'm grateful I had the opportunity to meet with her ahead of time. Did Ali find Chavez to be helpful in their scenes together? For sure, she says. Without a doubt. This was, I believe, something fresh for both of us. I don't believe either of us had ever done a sex scene before. It was fantastic. Veteran ABC daytime viewers recall the network's branding as a mecca for scripted romance in the 1980s. The campaign's name was Love in the Afternoon. Could Spriner's success inspire more romance on soaps? Most definitely, Ali predicts. We're in such good hands with Spriner. I want them to have more fun and go on more adventures. We haven't got the opportunity to do so. I simply hope we stay on this track. 
Because conflict is the basis of daytime drama, Spencer and Trainer will almost certainly experience some difficulties in the future as they have in the past. If and when that happens, Ali has a message for Sprina fans. I would look at Luke and Laura's Anthony Derry and Jenny Francis history. They had to go through a lot of downs before they could experience any ups. They had to go through a lot before they could marry. Don't give up hope, I tell Spriner fans. We'll always have our ups and downs, even if we go through a rough patch. It may take a second, but it will occur. While Ali did not travel to the real New York City for these recent scenes, she and other GH cast members, including Maurice Bernard, Sonny, Laura Wright, Carly, Cynthia Watrose, Nina, Michael Easton, Finn, Lynn Herring, Lucy, and others will be in Memphis 10 for a fan gathering from Friday, October 27 to Sunday, October 29. Click here for more information on how to attend and meet several of your favorite GH stars. Over the weekend, there will be a slew of activities. I saw Elvis, which starred Austin Butler, Ali reveals. I'm such a big fan of his. The actress says she's excited to see GH fans again and understands their concerns about representation and the need to be visible. Seeing me on TV has inspired them in some way, she says. They see a young woman that resembles me, and many of them feel that they didn't get to see that on TV when they were younger, particularly on soap operas. They enjoy the triangle involving Rory, Michael Cruz, and Spencer, as well as Trina's relationship with a man who resembles Spencer. They are emotionally invested in the story. Michael Corinthos and Willow have the potential to make Nina's wishes come true. General Hospital spoilers for October 6, 2023 offer a plethora of options, exciting news, a crucial request, and much more. You won't want to miss a single second of this thrilling new episode. Highlights from General Hospital. When Sonny and Nina tell Michael and Willow that they are planning a destination wedding on Sonny's own island, they surprise them by inviting them to attend. Michael and Willow are both conflicted about this, but Willow has insisted that family is vital and that she wants to make apologies with both Michael's father and her newfound mother. Will they go ahead and make Nana the happiest lady on the planet? Will their presence eventually destabilize things? Wedding preparation at General Hospital Nina is already giddy with enthusiasm and can't wait to tell Valentin the good news. She must also inform him that she will be unavailable to assist with the Charlotte matter. Kali is surprised to learn that Sunny and Nina are really going to do it. They are going to marry, and she will have to accept that truth. Christina is likewise giddy with excitement. Is it about the wedding, or her new pal Blaze? According to GH teasers, Anna makes a significant request. Does she simply ask Valentine to be honest with her after discovering that he bought a house without telling her? Or does she make a request of Dante? He's been quite helpful as she tries to figure out who is after her. Unfortunately, she is unaware that Valentine possesses all of the answers. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.